Hollywood remembers actresses Debbie Reynolds and her daughter Carrie Fisher. Roanoke is not forgetting the time Reynolds spent here. Local developer Richard Hamlet became Reynolds' third husband back in 1984. WSLS 10's Angela Hatcher has his reaction to Reynolds' sudden passing. First time I was with her, I told her I want to marry her. But on that night in 1983, Richard Hamlet settled for Debbie Reynolds, scribbling her phone number on a matchbook. Hamlet had just watched Reynolds headline a show in Reno. She rejected his friend's invitation to dance. So I said, well, I get turned down the same as he did. I don't mind. So I go and ask Debbie to dance. And so she jumped up and said, OK. So we go out on the dance floor. One might say he swept her off those feet made famous on the silver screen. Six months later, they were standing at the altar after Reynolds made up her mind. And she called me one night, and she said, the answer is yes. And I said, to what question? She said, we're going to get married. Their 12-year marriage ended with a bitter divorce, but before that, the couple briefly lived together in Roanoke County. They opened a Vegas hotel and looked the part of a happy family at the star's 55th birthday party with Reynolds' daughter, the late Carrie Fisher. Hamlet called to offer his condolences over Fisher. Just hours after leaving a message with Reynolds' office Wednesday, he received word his ex-wife was rushed to the hospital. And I told him, I said, she's not going to make it. I said, she's, she's just got a broken heart. Reynolds accused Hamlet of breaking it years before. They hadn't spoken in years. But to us, Hamlet had nothing but kind words to describe America's sweetheart he once called his own. i had been in love with Debbie ever since I was in high school. Yeah. In Roanoke County, Angela Hatcher, WSLS 10.